Good day folks, this is Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm. Today we're practicing a little bit of uh, ditch healing here. And uh, we've got a couple more big round bales in here. I think we put uh, three in here last winter. And the cows are coming through here. And I thought, well, you all need something to do today after they get their fill. And you see the cows aren't too hungry. A lot of them are kind of walking around. My gosh, they got grass all over. They're on a, about a five acre bottom today. We'll be moving them out of here tonight. So we'll have some grass left for one more grazing. Uh, we are on our second grazing pass for the winter and uh, it's looking pretty good. We left a ton in the last paddock back to buy those trees. You see the cows, they like playing in it. And it's funny, uh, you know, you bring an old bale down in a ditch like this and if you unrolled it, they wouldn't pay any attention to it, but you put it in a ditch and kind of leave it in a pile like that they'll get in there and they'll start doing that playing in it and rubbing on it and by the night you won't even be able to find those bales so they'll have them all strewn out in that ditch and of course you can see they're pooping in it and peeing and stomping on it and there's a lot of seed in there and so it's feeding the soil the microbes and uh, the cows are doing all the work and they're actually quite enjoying themselves <laughs> they're strong animals i mean you and i could go up there and rub on that bale we're not going to do that it's not going to have the same uh, result look at that she's really enjoying that bale i mean you know you take a thousand pound animal on four legs and she's going to put her butt into it no she's going to rub on that other bale you think they'd get that in their eyes you know you and i Stuck our head in there. Look at that. They got big old eyelashes, and I guess they close their eyes when they do that. I guess she she's kind of got her feel now. There's an, some more here going to probably take their place. Um, Isaac and uh, Connor and David went to get the last bale. We had three of them up on that hill. Uh, these bales are like four years old. Guy gave them to me. He called them ditch fillers, and so he wasn't too far from being right. Uh, last year, we actually unrolled about four of them up on the hill, and the cows kind of picked through it. There is uh, some alfalfa in there. It's alfalfa, orchard grass, fescue, clover. In the day, they were pretty good bales, but the farmer didn't feed them. And after they got three years old, they were in his way, and he wanted to get rid of them. He wanted them out of his way. So I went up there, and I think I got, I don't know, it was almost 15 of them for free. So, folks, if you can get hay like that, free, if it'll hold together to put on a trailer, bring it back to your farm and use it to heal ditches like this. Or if you have some bare ground out in the pasture that's not doing real well, uh, unroll it unroll it out there on that bare ground and uh you won't have bare ground very long it's going to come back pretty nice yep i can hear the boys they're coming down the hill they've got another bale on and uh, they're using the ATV. We have a Honda ATV, and they got a 1,200-pound bale on the back of it. And, of course, they're using the, our uh, Greg Judy bale unroller that I designed, and <clears throat> we have those for sale, and they are selling quite briskly. And uh, <clears throat> we're trying to hold the price as good as we can, but with steel prices up 360%, I got tickled. The guy yesterday made a comment. Well, you know, you need to you need to have your facts when you talk about inflation. You know, it's like he was hinting that we don't have any inflation. I'm like, are you living under a rock or what? I didn't say that, but I thought it. And I'm like, inflation's all around us. And this bail and law is a perfect example. I mean, my goodness, the steel. You know, it's hard to even find steel, and if you can find it. It's the price of gold almost. Well, no, not quite, but it's expensive. So, 
we're trying our best to hold the cost down, but it's tough. Our winches have went up. Everything's went up. The paint, you know, everything goes on there. The tires, my gosh, you can't find tires now. Uh, I went to get tires the other day for the, uh, on the farm, the farm truck, and the guy pulled up his computer screen, and he went through, like, I, I lost track of the pages, but he, I'd say he went through 100 screens, 100 different screens on that computer. And we finally found one screen that had four matching tires. He's been in business for 50 years. He said he's never seen anything like it. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got some supply issues here. Hey, make the circle. That bale's so flat. And they've got it. See, that's what happens. But see, these are junky bales. They were not put on a poles. They were not put on oak poles. So that's what happens to your bale. So when you buy your hay, folks, if you leave it, now that, that bale's three to four years old, but that's kind of an exaggerated thing. But I've seen bales in fields that look like that. And if you're buying your hay and you lay it on the ground, that's what you can expect in two years. So put them up on oak posts. And you won't you won't have that issue. So they're getting ready. They're going to get the netting off of it, and then they'll pull the foliage out of the way. And I've got such strong manpower there. Those three young men, they will have no trouble pushing it into that hole. <laughs> bulls like that's just doing a bull thing it's that testosterone they like rubbing on dirt with their head they've got that one stuck in there pretty good these old bales they get they get damp and when they get damp in the middle um i didn't go with them on that bale and i get the other two I did, but they didn't stick it in the right spot. They should have raised it up a little higher in the bale. But now they're paying the price for that. <laughs> that's that's what you do. You learn. But Connor is one strong young man. He will get that out of there. He already did. We were hauling logs the other day to the sawmill and. I set one out on the road. It was probably two foot diameter, uh, eight and a half foot long. I let go there and Connor grabbed a hold of that log and was pushing it like he is right there on that bale. Great to have manpower. I mean, real manpower. Look at that. <laughs> Y'all are just having too much fun. <laughs> Playing in it like they are. <laughs> Holy cow, like, you brought us another one. <laughs> That's actually pretty good looking. Hey, that one is. You get a closer look at it. Look at that. That's orchard grass. smell it. Mm, doesn't smell too bad either. Can you believe that's four years old? Yeah. Cow's like, yeah, it tastes pretty good too. It's funny. You know, they got all this grass out here and they're like, we're going to be naughty boys. We're going to go over here and rub and push and eat this hay before Greg, because I know Greg doesn't want us in there. That's just the way they are. I was on a ranch or a farm in um, Kentucky and there was an old bale down in the draw. It had been there for years and brought it up and threw it in the pasture for them and they immediately attacked that thing and they started eating it. And it was com almost completely rotten. It's just funny. If you don't want them to eat it, go throw it in a ditch and they will. They'll tear it up. <laughs> so, 
that's where we're at. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. And uh, everyone have a good one. Hit that subscribe button on the way out. And we're going to sit here and watch the cows work that hay over.